Welcome to today's session on exploring Infor RPA Studio. In this tutorial, we'll delve into the demographics of various panels, ribbon controls, variables, arguments, and other essential components in Infor RPA Studio to create a simple RPA workflow. So let's get started. Infor RPA Studio is a powerful tool used for designing, testing, and deploying automation workflows. Its user-friendly interface caters to a diverse range of users, including business analysts, developers, and IT professionals. The development canvas offers a range of panels, each serving a specific purpose while creating your RPA process. Under the Activities panel, you'll find various predefined activities like file operations, data manipulation, and more. Think of them as building blocks for your automation. The project panel provides the overview of the file representing separate RPA flow parts of the open RPA project. For the properties panel, once you select an activity, this panel displays its properties, allowing you to configure its behavior according to your needs. Use the variables and arguments panel to create and manage variables and arguments, which we will discuss when to use each component later in this tutorial. And lastly, the output panel shows the output of your automation workflow execution, including any errors or information messages. The ribbon controls at the top of Infor RPA Studio provide quick access to essential functions. Some notable controls include New, where you can quickly add additional sequences into your RPA project. Save and Save All allows you to save your RPA project. Run, this is where you initiate the execution of your automation flow. Publish, this is used to package an automation process, manage versions, and publish the package to the RPA mastermind. We will discuss how to successfully publish your RPA workflow in a separate tutorial. Import and Export, which is used to import and export the project from RPA Studio in zip format. And Import JSON, which is used to import the workflow recorded as a JSON file using the RPA recorder into the Studio application. Above the ribbon, you can find a menu toolbar holding these actions from the ribbon and more. Here you can also find the home icon, which will take you to the RPA Studio homepage, where you can start creating new projects, open existing ones, and import any already created. Now, let's discuss the differences between variable and argument components. Variables are temporary containers that store data during workflow execution. They can hold various types of data, such as numbers, text, or dates. On the other hand, arguments are like placeholders for the data that you can pass into or receive from your workflows. Use the arguments for the dynamic values you would like to change depending on where the RPA process is running in production. Creating variables and arguments is simple. Just use the variables panel and the arguments panel respectively. Properly managing variables and arguments ensure smooth data flow within your automation. Now let's walk through creating a basic workflow. Open Infor RPA Studio. If you're already logged in, just click on New Project. Otherwise, you would need to sign in to your particular tenant to continue the RPA flow creation. On the New Project pop-up, specify the name, location, and a brief description for the new project and click Create. Drag and drop activities from the Activities panel to the Design area to start creating your RPA flow. Look up the message box activity, which allows you to display a message in the pop-up and drag and drop it into the canvas. To configure this activity, use the properties panel, which appears on the right-hand side. For the message box activity, you would need to set the input text property, which is the message you wish to display in the pop-up. For that, let's create a variable under the variable panel to hold your message text. We can call it input text, select the type string, and specify the default value. In our case, hello world. Now we can update the input text property with this variable name and save. To execute the RPA flow, click on the run button in the ribbon controls. You'll see the message box displaying the message you just entered. And that's it. You've successfully explored the demographics, ribbon controls, variables, arguments, and created a basic workflow in the Infor RPA Studio. Remember, this is just the beginning, and the Infor RPA Studio offers a wide range of possibilities for creating complex and efficient automation.
Thank you for joining us in this session. We hope you're now better equipped to embark on your automation journey with the Infor RPA Studio. Stay tuned for more exciting insights and tutorials and subscribe to our channel to see the latest content.